and Milo. Are you ready to go? Hell on wheels was the king of the rambling kids. Hanging around downtown Santa Cruz. I didn't know him well, but he liked the way we sang. In the morning light, it didn't take much for the chase away. have made it to the truck stop before the nasty storm got here. Milo's bag is right here waiting in case it's ugly enough we need to go in the building. Um, we are in a paid spot about as close to the building as I could get. It was worth paying for the spot to get close. Okay. I know you want dinner. We'll fix it in a few minutes. Okay. She hasn't figured out that there's a storm coming yet, I don't think. She just wants to eat, which is probably better to keep her occupied for a few minutes. Um, the first place, let me, let me relax here a second. I felt like I was racing this storm. I didn't want to be, because there are, oh, I got my weather radio on and it's picking up garbage. Um, there were two confirmed tornadoes on the ground, I believe, with this. One that was to the north of us, one that's to the south of us. Um, we are east of the storm, and the storm is heading east. So, I don't think the tornadoes are going to... Think, I think it's just going to be ugly storms, but we'll see. But like I said, we're parked really close. The rest area I first stopped at, because I was just trying to get off the road before we drove into the, the nastiness... Because I have to tell you, I've done it before. Getting stuck on the highway in tornadic weather and ha large hail and heavy winds is terrifying. So I wanted to get off the road. I was hoping we'd make it an hour further than we did, but the storms told us to, to get off the road before the weather technology, radar technology and apps on your phone were so good that you could really see where things are and you just kind of drove blind into it other than your radio telling you what county the storm is in when you're somewhere where you don't know what county you're in so yeah so we're parked where we where we can be safe so if it does actually get that bad i will put milo in her bag and we will run into the building uh, more than likely it's just going to be a noisy storm milo actually at the moment doesn't care she just wants me to feed her 
she does not like storms. They make her very nervous. But I don't think she, like, I don't think she realizes it's coming. Um, wish my radio quit doing that. I don't think she realizes the storms are coming. She just doesn't like the noise when it's here. Like, we had, I had a dog that, I mean, you knew two hours before the storm hit that there was a storm coming. Because he would just, just made him crazy. So, she hasn't picked up on the fact that there is a storm coming. It's just, once it gets here, the loudness and the wind and the sh wind shaking the truck will make her very nervous. She's not bad, but you can tell she's definitely nervous. In fact, she's more than likely going to get in her bag. She does that a lot. I think she feels safer in that small bag. But I'm going to eat my dinner. I'm going to fix Milo some dinner. Maybe if we're lucky... The storm will split and go around us, and we won't have to deal with it. I almost forgot. Tuesday, when I, we did our video on Tuesday, Milo was having tummy issues. I said I would let you know how things turned out. She is fine. She's holding her food down just fine. All of her bodily functions are functioning the way they're supposed to be functioning. And she got over it. Which is I, what I thought she would. Sometimes that, sometimes that lasts long enough that I do start getting concerned. But um, she got over it. About the time I was thinking, okay, we are going to have to go find a vet. She did what she needed to do. She's eating just fine. Like I said, her, all her little bodily functions are working the way they're supposed to. And she's perfectly fine. We just... It's just kind of an ongoing thing with her. She's just something that the vet said she's just prone to. Some cats are, some cats aren't. So, all right. So we're going to have our dinner now. My, and my, looks like my bag's out. Where are we going? Well, hopefully we're not going anywhere. Um, but I'm going to fix her some dinner. I'm going to eat my dinner. Maybe we can eat our dinner before the storm actually gets here. So you guys all have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time. Guys, the storm's just about on us now. Um, so I'm facing away from it, so I turned the front camera on. The wind's picking up pretty good. It's starting to rain a little, a lot of lightning. Um, but the worst of the storm, or at least the part of the storm with the tornadoes, is missing us. It's up. That, that part of the storm has gone north of us. So I think we're just going to get us a noisy, a noisy storm. I think we're going to be just fine. Milo is very nervous. She does not like this. It's okay. It's okay. That wasn't her looking for birds or something. She's, she's, it's making her nervous. Making you nervous, isn't it? It's okay. I'm watching, storm, I'm watching the storm chasers. These guys are following the storm with the tornado in it that is north of us. I also have my weather, my scanner on, so I'm listening to the, um, the police and stuff to see how it's going on. It doesn't sound like it's that bad. So you can see the, the top of the, the clouds that's coming over us. It's coming over us now. Lots of lightning. We're in Mount Vernon. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that bad. But I tell you what, the trucks are coming in fast. People are, people are getting off the road. Which I don't blame them. It's hard to drive in the weather like this. It does sound like it's worse up on I-70. We're on 64. We are south of it. Um, so we will jump back on here in a few minutes if we need to. Or if there's anything significant going on. Brush of Milo. Yeah, it's starting to get. Sounds like maybe a little hail out there right now. So we're gonna sit here and brush. Oh, it's okay. There's a little thunder. We survived. It's not. It's. It's. It didn't turn. It's not as bad as it as it was looking. It all went. The, the worst of it went north of us. So. So you guys don't have to worry about us. We're just fine. 